You already know about the new type of coronavirus that emerged in China, and it's spread to other countries around the world. Everybody's talking about it in workplaces, homes, and communities, in the media, and on the internet. But a lot of talking can sometimes make it harder for us to get good information, the type of information we all need to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe. What you need to know is this. There are ways to guard against catching COVID-19, the coronavirus disease. These precautions have been recommended by the World Health Organization, the Centers for Disease Control, the Mayo Clinic, university medical schools, and others who know what they're talking about. For the next few minutes, we're going to discuss and show you how you should deal with a coronavirus. The coronavirus has existed for a long time, but the current version called COVID-19 is very easily transmitted. People who are infected by COVID-19 experience fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Depending on the patient, the effects of COVID-19 can range from mild to severe. In severe cases, COVID-19 can lead to pneumonia, kidney failure, even death. Those who are at risk of having a serious reaction to COVID-19 include older adults, people with underlying medical conditions, and those with compromised immune systems. The virus can spread through airborne respiratory droplets that are produced by an infected person when they cough or sneeze. The droplets can infect someone directly by landing on their nose, eyes, or mouth, or by contaminating a surface or object that you come into contact with later. Symptoms of COVID-19 typically begin to show within two days to two weeks of exposure and it can spread rapidly. Medical specialists are working worldwide to develop treatments for the virus and have discovered several approaches that they are testing. Work is also being done on vaccines to prevent the disease altogether. While work is being done to come up with treatments for COVID-19, it is still extremely important to do everything possible to contain it. Two effective ways to avoid becoming infected are to wash your hands regularly and be careful what you touch with them. To effectively wash your hands, you will need a good soap and warm running water. Scrub your hands front and back, including fingers, thumbs, and lower forearms for at least 20 seconds, then dry with a paper towel. You can also use hand sanitizer, but it must contain at least 60% alcohol to be effective. You will need to wash your hands frequently and in a number of situations, after any type of public outing, when you touch tables and countertops, doorknobs, phones, or light switches, after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, and before you leave the restroom. If COVID-19 does get onto your hands, touching your face gives the virus a free ride to your mouth, nose and eyes, which is where it can most easily infect you. Since we all touch our faces many times a day without even realizing it, you need to be particularly careful about this. Don't rub your eyes, pinch your lip or scratch your cheek, and don't pick your nose. Because COVID-19 primarily spreads from person to person, one way we can help to prevent infection is by avoiding close contact with other people. This is called social distancing. To start, you should avoid restaurants, bars, movie theaters, sporting events, any location where you typically find a lot of people. You should also stay at least six feet away from others while passing on the street, standing in lines, even at a checkout counter. 
When you are around other people, you need to practice respiratory etiquette. If you have to sneeze or cough, do for others what you would have them do for you. Turn away so no respiratory droplets fly in their direction. If possible, cough or sneeze into a tissue held in your hand, then put the used tissue in the trash. If you don't have a tissue, turn your mouth and nose to the inside of your bent elbow or the sleeve of your upper arm. The symptoms of COVID-19 infection are fever, cough, and shortness of breath. If you begin to experience symptoms like these, contact your healthcare professional immediately. Prompt diagnosis and treatment of the virus can help to prevent it from developing into a serious medical problem. You also have a responsibility to avoid spreading the virus. So if you feel sick, you should limit your contact with other people as much as possible. Stay at home and follow your doctor's instructions. When you are sneezing and coughing, wearing a face mask can help to prevent the respiratory droplets that you produce from floating free where they can infect others. If a mask is not available, you should always cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Remember, any face masks that you wear and tissues you use will be contaminated with the virus. So dispose of them safely in a covered lined container. The coronavirus pandemic is affecting our world in ways that we have never experienced before. But this disease is beatable. We can all do our part by practicing good personal hygiene, social distancing, and respiratory etiquette. Working together, we will get through this.